That was close. Hang on, where are we? I'm not sure. We probably can't go back the way we came. So let's just see if we can find another way out. Edward agreed, and he slowly but surely made his way down along the old line. He couldn't go too fast, since his brakes weren't working. As they made their way along the old line, Edward was lost in his thoughts. Harley will be back at the shunting yards, and he'll be puffing with pride because he won the race, and the other engines will be wondering where I ended up. Suddenly, a voice broke through Edward's train of thought. It, is anyone out there? Uh, uh, who's there? Where are you? I'm over here. Very carefully, Edward crept his way through the bushes ahead of him. The branches crackled and creaked as he made his way through. Then, Edward's mouth dropped. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. There, on the other side of the bushes, was a tank engine. It was broken, rusty, and covered in overgrown. The engine looked a lot like Stepney, but judging by the patches of paint that was still remaining, she was in a different livery. Edward didn't know what to say. He didn't speak for a moment. Then, the engine smiled at him, and judging by the smile, Edward could tell that the engine was kind and gentle. Hello, my name is Edward. Pleased to meet you, Edward. My name is May. May? Are you that May? The May who used to work on the Hohen Railway? It, yes. How did you know that? Your little brother told me and my friends all about you. I don't believe it. He's still in service. I'm glad to hear that. But Max told us you were scrapped. That's what I wanted everyone to think. It's a long story. Do you like stories? Yes, I tell stories to the other engines all the time. Then I hope you like my story. <laughs> takes place on the Hohen Railway after my journey from the Sunnah. Max and I used to work together at Pennelberg Station. It was a big station connected to go to either the branch line or the main line. There were two other engines that were stabled there and they were our parents. There was Carol on the GNRC1 Atlantic. I am the Midland engine. All four of us were very popular, and many people came to see us. We were all very happy. What happened? <sighs> Dieselization was in full swing. We were becoming too expansive to be kept in service, so they built and bought new diesel engines. It Caroline, Norman, and I weren't in service as much anymore. We feared the worst. But luckily, Norman and Caroline were bought by a railroad museum. Max and I were relieved. However, I wasn't so lucky. The manager came to see me and guess what he said? 
I'm a history. He told me that I'm an old engine that doesn't deserve to be kept in service, and he ordered Max to take me to the scrapyards. But Max didn't want me to be scrapped, so he did something very secretive. He took me out to Solo and hid me away on this old mine. Max didn't want to leave me, but he knew it was for the best. He said his final farewell and left. As time went by, more and more steam engines were bought by heritage railways and national railway museums. But no one knows that I'm still here hiding away in the overgrow. Edward looked at May. He felt very sorry for her. Oh dear, you poor thing. An engine like you deserves to be put back in service. Thank you, Edward. That's the most kindest thing you've ever said. But I doubt anyone will want to preserve me. Sir Topham Hatwood? He's the controller of the Northwestern Railway. But, but what if he doesn't want me? Nonsense. He would love to have you as part of his railway. Besides, he's got a lot of steam engines. He does! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Edward was about to agree, but then he remembered what Harley had said when he first came to Sodor. Wait! You can't go yet! Why? Because one of your old rivals is on this railway, and if he finds out that you are still alive, he'll surely send you for scrap! Who? Harley. What? Harley is on this railway? Yes, but don't worry. When the time is right, I'll take you to the Sodor Steamworks. Victor and Kevin will have you fixed in no time. I promise you will be a really useful engine again. May smiled the biggest smile she had made for years. Thank you, Edward. Thank you for looking after me. Edward just smiled. Later, after dropping his stone trucks to Brendam Docks, Edward was at the Steamworks having his brakes fixed. Although he was a bit disappointed that he lost the race, he was still pleased that one good thing came out of it. Just then, Harley pulled in. So there you are, Edward. Being fixed, huh? I told you I would win the race. Afternoon, Harley. Well done. Wait. What did you say? I said, afternoon and well done. I, uh... Do you have a job to do, Harley? Or are you gonna stand around tussling? Take a boy, not a track! Fine. He'll get what's coming to him. I know, I never want to man a horrible engine like him. Edward couldn't have agreed more. Then, he noticed an empty flatbed nearby. He knew that he had to tell Victor and Kevin about May. Victor, Kevin, I need to tell you both what happened during the race. Edward told them all about May. Victor and Kevin were amazed. Excellent work, my friend. I'm sure Mr. Zabon will be pleased with you. Tell them about what? I will soon, but I can't because if Harley finds out that May is still alive, he will take her for scrap. When the time is right, I'll tell him. Okay, I understand. That night at the sheds, Edward was telling the other engines about his race with Harley. He was about to tell them about May when Sir Tubham had arrived. Edward was pleased with this. That meant he could be able to help May in the morning. After Sir Tom had left, Edward continued. I have to tell you all what happened during the race. And what would that be? Edward explained about his brakes failing while going down Gordon's Hill, and also about May, who he had discovered down the old overgrown line. The engines couldn't believe what they were hearing. Wait, May is still alive? She's... alive. 
Max, why didn't you tell us she wasn't scrapped? She told me to keep it secret when I came to Sodor and became a permanent member. I started looking for her, but I couldn't remember where I hid her. Thank you, Edward, for helping me find my big sister. Well, it was by accident, but you're welcome. 